Hi everyone, welcome to Discovery at Home. This week's book week. Today, I'm going to be reading the story, Busy Beaks, and I'm in our campsite in the Discovery space. And while I'm reading, we can see all the birds around me. Busy Beaks by Sarah Allen. Look at all these different types of eggs. I wonder what birds they belong to. Cra, cra. I wonder if you know that animal. Cockatoos screech across morning skies. Look, there's some cockatoos here. The warble of magpies not far behind. Black and white feathers. Pelicans fishing for breakfast in groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pelicans. Swans gliding slowly, then bobbing for food. A robin sits tight on her three speckled eggs. A loud kookaburra calls out to its friends. Hovering spine bills drinking sweet nectar. I wonder if you have a sweet drink that you like. Lorikeets live in a big mob together. I wonder if you can see some lorikeets here in the campsite. Rosellas grow strong in a cozy tree hollow. I wonder what's in the tree hollow. I wonder why they're in there. Shorebirds find food as they splash in the shallows. I wonder if you can see any other animals on this page. A brolga pair dance and practice their leaps. I wonder if you could be like a brolga at home and leap around your living room. <sighs> Tired, tawny frog mouths catch up on some sleep. He looks pretty comfortable up there. A gang of galahs eating roots, seeds, and grass. Fire towel finches take dips in a bath. Fairy wrens strut with the bluest of feathers. An eagle soars high over mountains and deserts. Wonder if you've ever been to a mountain or a desert. A tall emu dad takes good care of his chicks. Wonder if you can count how many chicks there are on this page. Palm cockatoos drum a rhythm with sticks. In the late afternoon, busy birds all around, flying home to their roost as the sun's going down. We also know that as a sunset. Doves are now preening and fluffing their plumes. I wonder why they do that. Penguins parade from the sea to the dunes. A flock of wild budgies roosts for the night. Part a lot sleep in their nest, out of sight. You can see them down here in a burrow. That's a different place for a bird to live. I think I can see 
the animal on this page over there. Facts and feathers. On this page, it tells us about all the wonderful birds we've seen in our book and a little bit about what they eat and where they live. That's their diet and their habitat. There was lots of wonderful habitats or where an animal lives in this book. The next time you're out in our local habitat or environment, you might to like to look for some of the birds you saw in this book today. Thank you for joining us at the Discovery Space for a discovery at home. If you wanna do a drawing or make an artwork and share it with us, hashtag UOW Discovery Space on Instagram and Facebook. I actually made a little clay bird earlier in the day out of some clay and some beautiful feathers, a red feather, green feather, and pink feather. I haven't come up for a name for my animal yet. You might like to name yours. Thank you.